A minus 30 seconds. 28. Three, two, go for main engine start. One, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus. What I've been focused on, you know, for the past uh, year or so is really a very specific genetic change that can occur in astronauts uh, when they go to space. I couldn't imagine uh, any individual being more impressive than what Julian is. What he's already done uh, as a young student through his high school career and now moving on to college, the sky's the limit for Julian, there's just no doubt about it. It's truly a very immediately relevant experiment. If we want to travel deeper into space, if we want to have longer term missions, uh, assessing the health of astronauts uh, every step of the way becomes crucial and doing it by directly measuring the health of their chromosomes is a great way of achieving that. The deal with telomeres is that they protect the tips of our chromosomes from damage, okay. but as we get older they, they get naturally shorter. Well, that's the thing I found when you go to space, the yeah. body changes, many things change. This is another reaffirmation that there's a lot of talent out there, there are a lot of amazing kids with bright ideas, and Genes of Space is just a platform for them to bring those ideas into reality. What Boeing has done for this in, in such a deeply uh, important area, uh, you can't say enough about it. The STEM education is so important for us to encourage the students, young men and women, to stay interested in the science, technology, engineering, and math, because they are the future of our company, for sure to make something that has the possibility of becoming a breakthrough, that's, that's more than enough. So I'm so grateful for everything I've been given. Totally amazing. It's pretty special, yeah. Next up, the International Space Station.